Hi there, I'm Jack Randall and this is Misty, the Australian carpet python. I've got a TV show on Nat Geo Wild called Out There with Jack Randall where I find many different wild animals in the outback. You know, obviously people are very scared of snakes, but what do you think is like the biggest misconception about a python? Uh, are you scared of snakes? I'm not scared of them, but I'm not running up to them either. <laughs> well, should we start with the snake going around you? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Tell me more about this really adorable toad. Adorable. You, yes. Do you like the look of this one? Well, you're now touching the cane toad, oh, which is fine, which is fine. Okay. But I, what I would say is that um, this is a poisonous animal. So he secretes lots of poison on, on his back. Oh, and you yeah. see that huge, oh, oh, quite a big one. Okay. Afterwards, wash your hands because okay. actually if you lick your hands, you might start feeling a little bit sick. I, I spent 15 years in Florida and I thought I was used to alligators, but I've not actually been this close to one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so this is quite a small alligator and um, actually alligators can get quite tame. As you see, this one isn't trying to snap. No. So, um, but yeah, so this is the closest you've ever been. Have you ever touched an alligator? No, I'm sure not. I haven't. Do you want to have a go? I do. Yeah. It's harder than I expected. Yeah, quite hard. I mean, they're, they're prehistoric in terms of their, they're very, very robustly built. Yeah, it's a Chilean rose-haired tarantula. So like all tarantulas, these, these are venomous, so you can see the front there. There's some fangs hiding away. Quite calm. In my, my experience, tarantulas, are, you, don't, you shouldn't really be afraid of them, and none of them can kill you. I think people are just afraid of the way that spiders move, and for me, it's once you begin to realise that this is just the way they move um, and you understand that they're not going to jump or as long as you're not scaring it too much, that they're quite calm. The first misconception is that, um, that all snakes are venomous. That is not true. Um, that actually more snakes are non-venomous than venomous. And the non-venomous snakes, this one's wrapping around my audio kit, um, actually constrict their prey so they don't use venom to kill their prey. With particularly pythons, not all python species, but if you see underneath his, oh blimey, he just moved his, <laughs> that was interesting. Um, he, he's got heat seeking pits so he can actually sense every single person in this, it's actually starting to get a little bit grumpy. Yeah. Grumpier. Uh, no, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> you actually like the look of it, it's quite adorable. You're the first person who said a cane toad looks How adorable. Big? <laughs> do they grow bigger than this? They do. I've seen cane toads get to like this big, like oh. huge. The tail is really quite strong. They use that to be able to propel themselves through the water. Oh. Um, and so yeah, they, they spend their time in the water, most of the time in the water, so they yeah. need to be good at swimming. They're very, very robustly built. And that's the reason, there's a good reason why they've managed to survive for millions of years. Thank you so much, Jack. I really appreciate this. Nice. He's so cool. <laughs>